Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm going to show you three different ways to create exclusive hi-hat groups or hi-hat exclusive groups. Now, this question comes from Inuando, who left two comments, who asked, uh, does anyone know how to set up the open hi-hat to cut off when you trigger the closed hi-hat? Now, it looks like they are specifically wondering how to do this in Sampler. Um, this is actually going to be my third method. So, in Inuando, if you're watching this, skip ahead to the Sampler portion of this video because I'm going to show you three different ways to do this. There's actually two other ways not using Sampler that I think are way easier. But if you're trying to build like a complex acoustic drum kit, I can totally understand how you'd want to do that in Sampler. Um, so I have a hi-hat sample here, actually two hi-hat samples, one that's an open sample and one that's a closed sample. And the concept here is that when you play a closed hi-hat after an open hi-hat, the open hi-hat gets choked by the closed hi-hat. Or if I pull this out a little, maybe a little further than that. Something like that. Because if you don't set up a hi-hat exclusive group, you're going to get something like this where the open hi-hat overlaps the closed hi-hat. So the goal here is to create a somewhat realistic hi-hat choke, just like when a real drummer plays a real hi-hat. By closing the pedal, this chokes the hi-hat and closes the open hi-hat sound. So one way to do this is with Quick Sampler. If you take your open and closed hi-hat samples, just uh, select both of them, press J to join them together, give them just a little bit of space in between the samples, drag and drop this down into Quick Sampler, open up Quick Sampler, and then switch this over to Slice Mode. Make sure that you've got one slice for the open hi-hat and one slice for the closed hi-hat. So right now these are on C1 and C sharp one. So I'm able to trigger both samples with my MIDI controller, but the open hi-hat is overlapping the closed hi-hat. So why is that? Well, it's because this is a polyphonic instrument. You can play multiple voices at the same time. All you have to do here is change the polyphony to mono, and now Quick Sampler will only play one note at a time. So you're able to realistically choke the open hi-hat by creating a exclusive or monophonic group or monophonic instrument for the hi-hat. So that's one way to do it if you just want hi-hat on a channel. But if you're building, say, a, a drum machine designer kit, there's another way to do this. So I'm just going to load up a new software instrument, and I'm going to load up drum machine designer down here. And this is just a blank drum machine designer kit. I'm going to take the open hi-hat sample and place it on the open hi-hat pad here on A-sharp 1. And then I'm going to take the closed hi-hat sample and put it here on F-sharp 1. And so now I've got these mapped on uh, proper general MIDI drum kit notes. But you can hear that there's an overlap. In order to do this in Drum Machine Designer, all you have to do is go down to the bottom right corner of each sample pad, click here, go to Exclusive Group, and then choose an exclusive group. So we'll put these in Group 1. And you'll see a little 1 pop up in the upper right corner of the pads that are in that exclusive group. So what it means is no matter what other drum sounds you have in here, all sounds that are in exclusive group 1 are going to play monophonic, whereas everything else will play polyphonic. So that's another way to do it with Drum Machine Designer, and then you can just continue to build the rest of your drum kit around those hi-hats. Now, to answer Inuando's question, um, let's do this in Sampler. This is probably the most complex way to do this, but again, if you're building like a really high-end, like acoustic drum set or something like that, you're doing some like pretty deep programming work, uh, that's where this can be helpful. So I'm just gonna load up Sampler. I'll load it up in stereo. This is just a blank sampler instrument. I'm gonna go to Mapping, and then I'm going to drag both of these samples into the sample loading area, into the mapping area here. And what it's going to do is it's going to put these just on the first two pitches it can think of, so C and C sharp. Let's see, that's the open hi-hat. So let's put this one on F sharp one and this one on A sharp one. And then I just want to make sure that the velocities on these are set to 0 to 127 so we don't miss out on any velocities. 
So right now it sounds like it's automatically choking the hi-hat. And that's because in Sampler, you have to tell both of these zones, these sample zones, to play back in full, to play back as a one shot. So to do that, you're going to click here on this Z button. This will bring you over to the zone parameters. And what you can do from here is scroll over and you'll see an option under playback for one shot. Now, if you don't see playback there, you can just go to view, visible zone uh, list columns, and then make sure that playback is shown. But by making these one shots, the samplers are gonna play in their entirety regardless of how long I hold the key down. But if I play them quickly together, we're still getting that overlap. Now, when you drag those two samples in at the same time, it automatically creates a group out of those two samples or multiple samples. Maybe you have multiple round robins or multiple velocity layers. So you can actually have more than just two samples in this group, which is the benefit of Sampler. It offers a, a, you know more realistic programming if you want to do that. But what you can do is just go to your group parameters by clicking here. And then you want to show a particular uh, option here. You're going to go to view visible group list columns, and you're going to show the one labeled playback. Now under the playback column, you can set the polyphony of that group. So right now it's set to max, but if I set this to one, what this will do is it will make that group. Everything in that group is going to be monophonic. So only one sample can play at a time. and we can automatically choke the open hi-hat sample with the closed hi-hat sample. Now, there are some other options here for exclusive groups. I think this is a way to make multiple groups interact with each other, like you could have multiple groups and you could make them have a voice count of one, but then you could assign them all class one so they'll interact together or class two or whatever. So uh, there are a few other options here, but that's the basics of it. Um, that's how you can do that in sampler with two or more hi-hat samples. Just put them in a group, put them on their correct keys, get your sample programming, and then just make the entire group monophonic so you only hear one hi-hat sample at a time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. This is a new series I'm doing where I'm answering uh, questions that maybe need a bit more detail to, to fully answer. So if you have a question that you'd like to see answered in a video, please leave it in the comments section below and I will do my best uh, to, to answer it. I do try to answer as many questions as I possibly can, but I get so many of them, um, I just can't answer them all. And sometimes I just can't answer them in a paragraph in a comment section. It requires a video like this to expand on the topic. So again, hope you guys enjoyed this video and this format. Thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.